Okay, this video is to help with U5, mixed circle review. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the first question here. What is the measure of, let me see, um, angle JHK? All right, so J to H to K. So this is the angle that I'm looking for right here. All right, so we know that an entire circle is 360 degrees, right? And if we're trying to find this piece right here and we have the other two pieces, what we can do is we can add 100 and 115 and just subtract it from 360 to find the missing piece. So I'm going to switch over to Desmos. Well, I'm going to write down what I'm going to do so everyone can see it. I think I'm getting better. All right. 100 plus 115 is going to give me 215. All right, so I know that this whole piece right here is 215. So I'm going to take 360 and subtract 215 to get my missing piece. So I'm going to go to Desmos and do that. All right, let me see if I can get Desmos on here. All right, there we go. 360 minus 215, and that's going to give me 145. Wait, can you see that? Yes, there we go, 145. All right, let me go back to IXL and put this in. 100, 145 degrees. Submit. All right. All right, this next problem is asking for an arc now instead of an angle. Um, but that doesn't really make a difference with respect to the problem because all of the arc measurements add up to 360 in a circle as well. So we're looking for the measure of arc PQ. So what I just highlighted. Um, we have arc PR is 110. Oops, I accidentally crossed it out. It's 110. And arc RQ is 115. So we're going to do the same thing that we did for the other problem. We're going to add these two up, the two that we have, 115 plus 110. And then we're going to subtract the sum from 360 to get the missing piece. All right, so 115 plus 110 is 225. I'm going to go to Desmos, and I'm going to subtract... Two twenty-five from three sixty, and I get one thirty-five. So let's just put one thirty-five. There we go. Okay, I skipped ahead to a little bit more of a difficult problem, but it's the same, um, the same concept we were doing before. If we're trying to find arc RS. We know that an entire circle is 360 degrees, right? And I have every other piece of the circle except for RS. So I can back into arc RS by adding up these other pieces and subtracting that number from 360. All right, so I'm going to add 110 plus 50 plus 140. Now you can do this in Desmos on the calculator. adds up to 300. All right, so I know that if I subtract 300 from 360, um, that's a pretty simple subtraction problem. 360 minus 300 gives me 60 degrees. So that missing piece is 60 degrees. All right, the area of a circle is four pi square meters. What is the circumference? All right, so um, the let me pull up the formula sheet. Okay, so I went to Schoology, and you'll see the geometry formula sheet is on the main page of the Schoology course. All right, when this comes up, you'll see area of a circle is down here. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi r squared. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. 
So I'm going to go ahead and write those two um, formulas down over here so we can use them. All right, so area is equal to pi r squared, and circumference is equal to 2 pi r, the radius times 2. All right, so we know that if the area is 4 pi, if my area is 4 pi, I can figure out the radius, right? So 4 must be what r squared is. So I can find out the radius by taking the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So my radius must be 2. 2 squared is 4, right? So now I can figure out the circumference by plugging my radius into this formula. My radius is 2. That means my circumference is going to be 2 times pi times 2, right? Because I'm going to plug 2 in for r. So I can simplify this by multiplying the two um, numbers, the two coefficients. 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 pi. So with this circle, the circumference and the area happen to be the same thing. So 4 pi. All right, looking at this next problem, the area of the circle. So remember, if I go back to that formula sheet, I know that area is equal to pi r squared. All right, so the area of my circle is equal to pi. Oh, wait a minute, where's the r squared? Well, if there's nothing in front of the pi, I know that it's understood to be a 1. So that must mean my r squared is equal to 1. So to find out the radius, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 1 is just 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So my radius here must be 1. And that's what the question's asking us for. What is the radius? Okay, with well this next question, it's asking us for the measure of arc QR. And we know it's asking us for the arc because it's got this little arc symbol on top. All right, again, um, the measure of arc QR is just going to be 360 minus all the other arcs in the circle because the circle must add up to 360. So I'm going to go to the Desmos um, calculator and I'm going to add 75, 55, and 140. 75, 55, and 140. All right, I know I get 270. I'm going to subtract that from the entire circle measurement of 360, and I'm going to get 90 degrees. All right, looking at this now with this next problem, we're trying to find um, the missing angle SVT. All right, we know that a full circle is 360 degrees, so I'm going to do the same thing that I just did with my arcs. I'm going to add up these three other angles and subtract them from 360. So I'm going to add up 105 plus 95 plus 50. 105 plus 95 plus 50. And I'm going to get 250. So I subtract 250 from 360 and that will give me my answer of 110. All right, I think that's about it for the mixed circle review. Let me know if there's a question um, that you get stuck on. Feel free to text me on reminder, email me, send me a picture of it, and we can go through it together. Hope you guys are doing well. I miss you.